he was a character. Uh, he didn't meet no no strangers. He loved life. He he loved people. He loved animals. And that he was just a character. It's um when it's written down as a celebration of life in there, mm -hmm. it looks like that's what you guys are going to be doing. That's why I got these on. Daddy says, come as you are. Yeah, so it is a celebration of life, and Daddy lived it. He was going. Matter of fact, I watched him on the video cameras. He was out there with his walker, getting the wood, throwing it on his little walker, and, and taking it in. He, he wouldn't stop. I couldn't slow him down. Tell me about why you wanted everyone to wear their overalls today. Actually, it was the grand grandbaby. She came up with it. We ought to wear overhauls called Grandpappy wore them all the time. Or she called him Grandhappy. So, yeah, that's why everybody's, you know, wearing the overalls. The love that's come out for Daddy is just, it's amazing. It's amazing. He would, he would, he's loving it. Because Daddy liked, he didn't, he wasn't no shy person. He loved the, the people and the, he liked, every time he met Daddy, he would be, uh, Trying to take a picture here, here, he'd be somebody he didn't even know. He'd be putting a squirrel on the shoulder and say, "Here, take a picture." And they'd be jumping back, and Daddy didn't care. Daddy didn't care. And then, and when I was young, uh, Mama would be, I'll be on aisle one, or Daddy would be on aisle one. We'd be down on aisle six, and Daddy had the buggy way back there. And Mama would holler for him because he's back there talking to somebody. Daddy didn't know no strangers. He called me one time, and you know how he talked. He said, "What you say, Taylor?" You know, he called me, and he's like, he, he wanted to know if I would take it to, uh, to see um, uh, Burt Reynolds right before, you know, Burt Mew, he was pretty sick, and Burt called him, and he said, can you take me and Burt over to see, uh, to see Burt? And I said, yeah, man, I'd love to. You know, and I all seen all these TV interviews way before I ever took him over there, Burt saying that out of all the people he felt like was a true friend, he only had three, and one of them was Cowboy. Oh, wow. You know, so that means a lot, you know. It was really cool because I got to stand back and, you know, dog bounty hunter on the up there saying, hey, Bert, I have a camera roll, you know, I have a phone roll. And I was filming all this. And uh, when he got through there and he didn't do nothing, that, he walked up to Bert, I've got it all on, he looked on my YouTube page and he watched the whole thing. It's really, really great. He stopped about 10 feet from Bert and he said, you sure do have a pretty mouth. <laughs> <laughs> And he went over there and kissed Bert on the head. He was just such a loving, caring man. You know, and Bert loved that. And they smiled and had a long conversation. Him and Bert enjoyed it. Have you seen the people posting pictures all over the place? And yeah, the, yeah. Just yeah. The, the people sharing their memories. It's the amazing. Couple. I mean, it's like, you know, it's, it's all of Haywood County, but really it's way beyond. I mean, I, I got a search yesterday, articles in California, the New York Times, he's on national television, and Cowboy would always love to share that kind of thing, you know, so for me, it was, it's just cool, because I know he's looking down and probably enjoying every minute of it, you know, because he loved for people to know and remember him for what he's done, you know. Debbie said he never met a stranger. He didn't. He Tell didn't me know. Oh, man, we'd go eat somewhere, and it'd be 20 minutes before we could ever start eating, because everybody just charged the table wanting to talk to him or wherever we were at, you know. Are you surprised to see this many people here? No, no, I'm not. I mean, he was well loved by Western North Carolina, period. I mean, you know, anywhere he went, everybody knew who he was, you know. That's, I mean, so for <clears throat> people that may be watching in other parts of the state or other parts of the country, what did he mean to the mountains? Oh, he was an, he was iconic. I mean, you know, whether you, whether you liked deliverance or not, and it was shocking, you know, I remember the first time I ever saw it, I was shocked. But, um, it, like like me and Rex were talking about the other day, and me and some friends of mine were talking. His lines were iconic. Everybody says those lines. You know, watch the movie The Blind Side. You know, she yells down, hey, deliverance, you know, and all this stuff, you know. So I don't know how many TV shows I've seen. It's just, and you know, those lyrics were ad-libbed. 90% of them were in that movie. And look how iconic they are. Everybody says that. Got a pretty mouth and all that stuff. It'll, it'll never lose this generation and all this era of people that remember him for those things. And then of course he done shows on the Hillbilly Blood and did the Ghost Town movie, which is an excellent movie if you've not seen it. So just a great guy, just a great guy. What do you think you'll miss most about him? Just hanging out with him. You never know what he's gonna say or what he's gonna do. And to me, I cherish that a lot, you know what I mean? He was just a great man, you know, just fun to be around.